Welcome back for another quick tip tutorial about walk cycles in a sprite. So maybe you've got a really cool character down and now you want to animate it, uh, make it walk. Well, how do, you, how do you do that? Maybe you've never animated anything. Um, I've picked up animation uh, over the years. I'm not a professional animator whatsoever, but I've learned a couple of things along the way that I wanted to share with you. First of all, um, I think of, anima of animating a walk cycle in terms of uh, pose, different poses of the character. So you start with one pose and you end in another pose and then in another. That's called pose to pose in animation. Um, there's a really good video about all the animation principles uh, in the link down below. So please check it out if you're interested uh, in more animation stuff. Anyway, what's important is to know where the limbs are uh, in, in one pose and uh, where they're going to move and so on. So for this walk cycle, we start with an extreme pose with the legs uh, spread out, arms spread out in the opposite direction. And then the next pose is the crossing where one foot is down and the other leg is coming behind to come forward. Uh, and then you end in another extreme pose but in the total opposite direction. And then you cross the legs again and that's it. So basically you already have a very simple walk cycle with only four frames, which is really nice. Now, to make it a little bit smoother and cooler uh, and give the character a little bit more attitude and style, you can generate the in-between poses quite easily if you have these uh, key poses uh, that uh, you know you want to transition between. I made this little walk cycle for you uh, with all the arms, legs and limbs uh, colored so you can track uh, which one is in front and which one is behind. And I also made an 8 frame and a walk cycle animation um, and you can actually draw over it or use it as a reference for your own pixel art. Um, doesn't matter what, what size uh, pixel art you do, the basic idea is the same. So one little detail I really like to add into my animations uh, wherever I can is follow through. So this means basically that if I quickly turn to the right, uh, my hair uh, isn't as fast and comes a little bit later. It's a little bit slower and then catches up and maybe bounces a little bit back and forth. Um, and the more you exaggerate that, the more wobbly a character uh, can feel. But for example, with hair or a backpack or whatever, uh, this can be really nice. Also with the hat, when the character steps down, uh, the hat uh, comes down a little bit later and then when the body goes up, the uh, hat goes up a little bit later too. And it gives a little bit of a bouncy feel to the walk cycle and you can change all that uh, as you please, of course. But I've added that into the um, walk cycle template that you can download for free. If you like my work, you may be happy to learn that I'm actually working on a game which is coming out very soon. It's called Astro Flux. The game is about two guys that have to find their way through space and uncover mysterious alien temples. It's a pixel art game with very similar art style as I made for this video. If you're interested, it would mean a lot to me if you would wishlist the game on Steam. And uh, if you want to play it right now, uh, we have an early access uh, version of the game with three worlds available. We just updated it. It's a 50% discount. And if the game releases, you get it for free on Steam. So go check it out if you are interested and um, let me know what you think. So I hope these tips are helpful in creating your own walk cycles. Uh, so feel free to download the A Sprite or PNG template file on my itch page. It's totally free, you don't have to credit me, you can use it wherever you want. And uh, enjoy! Alright, see you next time!